Do you want your horror game to look like this? Well, you're in luck as I will show how it works. This effect is achieved through two post-processing passes applied on the screen. Basically each frame we take a rendered image, do some changes to it and apply it back. To enable this in Godot, I have this node set up. First the scene nodes for the forest stage and then this kind of slayer with the color wrecked child. The color wrecked is set to cover the entire screen and I have a shader material on it. Here I can access the screen texture with this uniform. This here is the entire code for the Bayer Ditter shader, which is the one I'm applying first. Now I'm not going to cover all of this code functionality, but instead I'll point you to some resources. Here in the code docs, you'll have fantastic write-ups for the shader basics. Particularly this custom post-processing page is the one covering the screen level post-processing effects. I largely based this shader from this code on codotshaders.com. That's another site where you can find a bunch of different shaders to study or use them as is on your project. The next shader I'm applying is this vignette shader. Here's also variables for altering the amount and intensity of the vignette. History time. Here's a couple older versions of the shader earlier in development. But now I have a problem. If I want to have UI elements, the post-processing will also be applied to those. What's the solution? Well, rendering the UI elements above the post-process passes. This can be achieved with a sub-viewport. Here I create a viewport texture from the sub-view and th then throw it to the shader. On the shader I simply add the UI image above the vignette shading. There we go. Now I think this shader ended up turning out pretty cool, but I'm not entirely satisfied with the end result. I think the scene just looks too dark, and I don't like this effect when the spotlight gets too close to the objects. So I might tinker with those later, we will see. But I will also be developing a couple more features for this one, such as running, stamina and flashlight meters and having a crowbar as a weapon. That's all for today, bye.